Bayern Munich were absolutely fantastic. I mean, who would have thought in November, I think it was, when, when Nico Kovac was sacked and Hansi Flick came in at the time as a caretaker uh, coach, who would have thought would have seen this transformation? I mean, Thomas Muller, good God, what's he having for breakfast? Cause, because I want some. <laughs> the guy's won it all in the game. The guy has won everything at club and international level. But if you want to see for young kids out there the hunger and desire to go back out there and do it again, I'll give you Thomas Muller. Well, you could say that across the whole Bayern team, the commitment that they displayed on the night. But would they get away with playing the way they did against, say, let's just say for argument's sake, a Man City? Uh, well, they'll play that way against Man City because that's what they do. They might, they may start to drop a little deeper from the high line that the boys mentioned, which is, you know, which, uh, listen, Guardiola is no Kiko Setien. He's watched that and thought, right. Okay, and we saw Jerome Boateng being dropped on his pants almost again by Luis Suarez. The similar thing to what Messi did to him a couple of years ago. Uh, there are areas of the team that are fallible, notably at, at the back. And I'm sure Guardiola will, will look to do something. We saw in, in the game against Real Madrid how he put Jesus on the left a little bit, Sterling on the right, and he played Phil Foden through the middle. And that gave the Real Madrid back to a problem, albeit Ramos wasn't there. So uh, they will not get away with doing the same things they did against City that they did against Bayern Munich. Uh, that being said, we also know that Manchester City can be like Barcelona at the back, and that is captain calamity. Uh, it is a tale of two coaches, as I'm you mentioned. I'm sorry, KK. I'm sorry I have to interfere because you are presuming right now that Lyon is already out of the competition. <laughs> I said for argument's put sake. Manchester City. I said for yeah, argument's yes, sake. Yeah, yes, OK, OK. She's anti-French, okay, Frank. It. That's where it is. <laughs> she, uh, she, uh, we, we start to know the personality. OK, OK. <laughs> yeah. But it is a tale of two coaches. They both came in more or less mid-season. So, Jules, what is it that Hansi Flick's done that's made this buy-in so effective? Well, it's, it's interesting. I think, first and foremost, a bit like what Greg said with, with Thomas Müller, he, he sort of brought back the sort of old guy that Niko Kovac was not really playing anymore because Müller had lost his place with, with Kovac, which I think, one, made Müller really unhappy and I think quite a lot of the dressing room unhappy as well because Thomas Müller, he's one of the leaders in, in that dressing room, in that team. So that's the first thing. They're certainly playing higher up on the pitch, with more energy, I think, and more drive than what they did under Kovac. There was also, of course, the Alfonso Davis uh, finding, in a way, when the injuries at centre-back meant that David Alaba had to switch from left-back to centre-back, which meant that they had the, this idea, great idea, to move Alfonso Davis, who's originally a winger, back to left-back and see, and see if he could do it. And boy, he can, and he could, and he did. So I think there's, there's, a f there's a few things like that. I think Joshua Kimmich from November onwards has been the best defensive mid midfielder in the world. I think Lewandowski has been so lethal for them as well. And I think he's the confidence that NC Flick brought with him. He's someone that the players really liked, someone with a lot of charisma, who knows exactly what to say to get this dressing room going, which I think Niko Kovac didn't do. Niko Kovac had a lot of discipline in him. And I think at some point that discipline didn't work anymore. And I think with those kind of players who, like Craig said, have won everything, everything possible that you could think of, it gets to a point where discipline is not enough. You need something else. Or well, certainly discipline was too much. Kovac is discipline. And I think Ansi Flick realized that very quickly and, and things went much better very quickly. But then you've got young players as well, Frank, like the 19-year-old Alfonso Davies, who had a brilliant performance tonight against Barcelona. How far off is he from becoming the best attacking fullback in the world? Uh, I don't know. He's already so high. I mean, he's already, for me, the best uh, uh, wing back in the world or left back in the world. Um, I mean, he, he knows how to do. He maybe can improve defensively, even if he's already strong. But offensively, I mean, that guy is such a, a, a nightmare for the others. And uh, and uh, and you have to cope with a guy who has a pace, who has a, an intelligence. He knows how to work tactically. He's so young. I mean. Uh, I mean, he has everything, and that's the beauty and, and, uh, and the intelligence of uh, Bayern Munich recruitment department, where they exactly know where to pick the, the right guys. And uh, the guy comes from uh, uh, Vancouver for 10 million bucks. I mean, that's nothing in our world, and is already so important. I mean, the, the asset that he made today, 
<laughs> in the, the, the Tekon and Semedo is a pure beauty and uh, I really enjoy s seeing those players bringing something different. And if I can go back to Flink, I think a, a coach doesn't teach a player how to play football. Players, they normally know how to play football, but it put them, as, uh, as Jules said, in the uh, uh, psychological aspect of the game in the best way and bringing the good tactic according to the players that you have. And it's, what the, and it's when that mix works that you have results. And it's what Flick did comparing to Barcelona where you barely have a tactic, you don't have a squad, you psychologically don't approach the players because they don't want you. So it's of course a disaster as a result. And it's why you have such a big difference today between Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.